This would be release question 91. I'd be Mr. Wagner. You'd be wondering how to do this problem. Let's check it out. Jenna's vacation. We've got miles traveled here on the top. And we've got gallons of gasoline on the bottom. It looks like a linear type of relationship as, or potentially a linear type of relationship. As you travel fewer miles, your number of uh, gallons of gasoline is going down. That makes sense. But then we've got this amount that's quite a bit higher than what she had me paying. So Jenna's car averaged 30 miles per gallon of gasoline on her trip. If I divide 600 by 20, I get 30. If I divide 450 by 15, I get 30. If I divide 300 by 10, I get 30. So yes, a linear relationship. The slope, in a sense, is the same each, each time. So miles traveled, gallons of gasoline, so that's miles per divided by gallons. Each time it's 30. So what is the value of x? in gallons of gasoline. So we're trying to figure out that value right there. Let me go with my, my red again. So we're trying to figure out that value right there. So we know that 30, it equals, 30 equals this over this, it equals this over this, it equals this over this. So it should equal this over this as well, 960 over x. So we're solving for x here. How can we get x by itself? Looks like I can multiply both sides by x. And I'd have 30x equals 960. You can divide then both sides by 30 to get x. This would cancel out with this. The single zeros cancel out with each other. 96 divided by 3. Uh, that is going to be 32. So 32, and that would be in terms of gallons of gasoline. So if you wanted to put units with that, you would say 32 gallons. Does that seem to make sense? Uh, it should be definitely more than this 20 here for the 600 because you're traveling a lot more miles than the, the biggest number that we had over here before that. And so that seems to make sense. 300 more miles added to 600 would be another 10 gallons. So it should be a little bit more than 30. 32, very reasonable answer then. Choice A for number 91.